I come in, sir. Good evening, 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 Agriculture is in your blood. Yes, sir. it is in your mind also. You've done your B.Sc. in agriculture, and you've opted that loyalty factor is there. Yes, sir. it was a subject many people do not opt for this, but you retained. So now tell us uh, something about you opted for I.F.S. at number seven. Yes, sir. Why? Not like to travel? Uh, no, sir. Uh, the reason because I opted I.F.S. at number seven was. Uh, I would like to serve uh, people at the grassroots level. So IFS uh, provides me opportunity to serve at uh, high level. So uh, why during all these emergencies recently, the evacuation and all had to be done by the IFS officers. They've been serving the country in their own way. Poor people who are who cannot travel on their own from uh, UAE and from other country in times of emergency. We seen the IFS officers really doing very hard work. Yes, no? sir. Not sir, impressed. certainly IFS has a very uh, pres uh, prestigious uh, and um, very. Um, it it also offers a very good uh, opportunity to serve the people. But uh, as compared uh, when it compared to IAS and IRS, so I think uh, serving a domestic people would be uh, I think more. Hi, क्या आप BIS की तैयारी करना चाहते हैं? क्या आप PCS की तैयारी करना चाहते हैं? बहुत दिनों से आप struggle कर रहे हैं. लेकिन इसके बावजूद भी आपको सफलता नहीं मिली भागदौड़ करने के बावजूद भी आपको कोई सॉल्यूशन नहीं मिल रहा सिर्फ आपका टेंशन बढ़ रहा है आपका पेशेंस जवाब दे रहा है इसी टेंशन को दूर करने और आपकी हर एक समस्या का समाधान लेकर आए हम यानी ओजांक गुरुकुल कैंपस यहां हम आपको सिखाएंगे आई और पी जैसे एग्जाम की तैयारी कैसे आसान तरीके से की जाती है कैसे डिसिप्लिन फॉलो किया जाता है कैसे अनुशासन रखा जाता है अगर आप भी चाहते हैं हम आई और पी बने और अपनी जिंदगी के सारे सपने पूरे करें तो अभी ज्वाइन करें ओजांग गुरुकुल कैंपस बिकॉज When we support the word selfless, the whole universe will support you endlessly. But in the IRS, you will be serving only the rich people. No, sir. I, uh, in my view, IRS also op um, offers me an opportunity uh, for collection of taxes and their recommendation with respect to the distribution also. Sir, okay, tax. Okay, we can do that. Uh, tell me, what uh, what do you understand about the RTI? What was it meant for? Have we achieved what we wish to set out to do through the RTI law? Sir, RTI Act came in the year two thousand five, which was uh, mainly for the making administration, uh, making uh, governance more transferable, accountancy uh, like uh, bringing government accountable to the people. Uh, but sir, um, when we see there are a vacancy with respect to uh, chairperson of State Information Commission. Uh, of many uh, states so certainly the, uh, it has brought a grassroots level change but uh, still need to be work out but some some the law was tweaked here in center also what was it meant to do what what happened two years back the law here was changed with respect to their appointments what was it sorry sir exact uh, right away does it have teeth i mean If some, if an officer refuses to divulge information as uh, provided in the RTI, can something be done about this? Is there a law to which says something? So, um, <laughs> definitely, RTI itself uh, provides a uh, redress grievance, and we can uh, appeal. Uh, like we can file the case at higher level, uh, provided uh, if the officer refuses or uh, even if uh, officer does not give the information within the prescribed uh, time of thirty days or so. Uh, there is uh, we can complain at higher levels so. now, what happens is there a provision to hold him accountable uh, sir um, okay but, we'll go on to another topic similar to yes, citizen sir. charter yes sir what does it uh, seek to do sir uh, citizen charter uh, makes a people uh, more aware about what are all the government schemes or 
what are all the uh, services that uh, one can get at a uh, um, every office every government office uh, in that sense it makes citizen aware of their rights what are the various divisions within the art, uh, citizen charter there is a division that all the it provides for division within the ministry of these uh, there are different sets three silos there not aware sorry my sir. last question to you yes uh, what did the truck drivers strike against the truck work even in your state yes, what what was it what were the agitating so uh, the truck uh protest that recently took place was uh because of uh, it was uh, popular in our eat and run case where um in recent amendments uh, the fine as well as the um uh, fine as well as the um, term uh, imprisonment term has been uh, increased when compared to previous ipc previous uh, terms you know what even now the, I mean, you are supposed to be taking the person that you hit Uh, maybe an accident to a hospital. Even today, you are morally supposed to do. What has changed? Why are they protesting? Even now, you are supposed to take a person to hospital. Sir, um, the truck drivers primarily claim that uh, they are very poor. They cannot offer the fine or. They are poor today. Also, they'll be even after the law comes into force, it they will be poor. Anyway, we'll say this. I'll take it over to another level. Hello, Basan. <laughs> What is your motivation behind joining the UPSC for civil service? Sir, uh, my motivation behind joining civil service was uh, like I saw a officer in my district only, uh, the district magistrate, whom he has an enormous power with responsibility to serve the people also, sir. So he brought a very key changes. Uh, I think the role he played in uh, bringing. Uh, making the people aware of the rights i think that would, that is my motivation from far back okay how much land do you have in your position sir uh, my father has uh, like 0.75 acre 0.75 acre yes, sir. and what kind of farming do you practice sir uh, my uh, farm basically uh, rain fed farming where we pract- uh, we grow ragi as a staple crop as well as we also grow uh, maize as well as napier grass for uh, animal has uh, like for animals in my home your hobby is uh, organic farming yes sir tell me two or three cons of organic farming not pros cons sir the cons of organic farming includes um one it uh, uh, high cost due high cost of production because um Uh, the in- inputs that we use uh, organic fertilizer or uh, a manure is very costly when compared to chemical fertilizers the second uh, cons is uh, less uh, um, like a pro, a pro, uh, by by this um, increased cost of production uh, uh, organic products price goes up sir. so i at certain i can remember these two cons so is it practical uh, in countries like bharat to practice organic farming at mass scale sir uh, it is certainly possible to practice uh, at a mass scale but uh, there uh, there should not be a sudden transition from the current situation to the organic farming it should be gradual sir do you practice in your farms sir um, organic farming uh, not in entire farm but uh, organ uh, like organic farming practicing as a kitchen garden Models. But as you want to join as a leader, yes. UPSC, and you have seven point five acres, which is a huge amount of land, you possess no. or your father possesses. Sorry, sir. Ah, uh, it is point seven five. Point seven five. Yes, sir. Okay, so you can uh, start practicing organic farming in your farm because the value output is also very high. It's a very good market. You are very literate person. You can sell them in an international market with lot of certification. So why don't uh, you practice uh, this organic farming in your complete uh, land holding, uh, sir? As such, um, I am recommending uh, for my uh, brother for a uh, gradual transition to towards organic farming, not not exactly directly, like uh, reducing the chemical fertilizer usage as well as encouraging him to use the bio fertilizers as well as the farmyard manure, which uh, 
uh, which is available within home also. So, As because of your uh, complete education, complete knowledge is about agriculture. If you are not starting organic farming from your home, how can you motivate the people of your district or people of your state? Sir, I am sure that uh, within uh, two three years. or so um, maybe 5 years my uh, land would be turned into organic farming model sir it takes lot of time yes sir if you just you take 2 3 years to convert your own land into organic farming how much time you will take to uh, convert the uh, <laughs> organic farming in your district uh, i agree to your points your uh, evolution or revolution is very slow sir uh, certainly i agree to your points but uh, the uh, transition from conventional agriculture to organic farming uh naturally it takes minimum 3 years for this transition so um, government also aims to bring about 10% of arable land under organic farming by 2030 so in that sense uh, we can try our best sir to uh, go for okay, our my last question is what do you mean by hydroponics sir hydroponics is a system of growing plants mm. in a soil less medium only using the uh, um water uh, which is a uh, nutrient rich water okay so what is aquaponics uh sir aquaponics also means the same so what is the difference sorry sir exactly okay i don't to you so you practice organic farming what is the process for certification of organic products sir so, um, there are two types of certification process at currently in place one is offered by ministry of agriculture uh, which is known as uh, pgs system participatory guarantee system model and another one is which is administered by apeda under ministry of commerce um, through npop national uh, product uh, national program on organic products um, these two currently there are certification process you applied for any and no sir currently no Any scheme? Sir, government of India has many schemes for, to promote organic farming. The primary, uh, primarily, it is Param uh, PKVY Param Paragat Krishi Vikas Yojana. Also, we have um, Mission on Value Chain Value Organic Chain Development in the Northeast region. Correct, uh, Prime Minister is coming, and uh, he is going on the wrong side of the road. Yes, sir. truck driver sir sir uh, in this case with my uh, understanding i think police are in inac- in action would be like i think uh, police should be should have taken the uh, action if i think sir if okay uh, karnataka government i think in delhi in delhi also is there free transportation is provided to women what do you think what is the purpose of it does it bring about any change ma'am free transportation for women which is uh, known as shakti scheme uh, the, definitely it has brought a change certain change in the uh, uh, women's life as well as uh, the government also says that it is for women empowerment after uh, bringing this scheme the female tourists as well as uh, it karnataka has witnessed a uh, female tourist all over karnataka intermingling with other uh, places as well um, so the revenue where uh, in on certain routes where the revenue was not generated by the bus so now it has become uh, uh, like uh, feasible for a transport sector now but the main issue remains of safety so has it improved safety or will it actually have any impact on safety in public spaces ma'am uh, linking this uh, free travel with safety uh, i i don't think there is any um, issue ma'am with respect to thank you do you think india is moving away from its traditional partners like russia in my uh, view no ma'am it is like uh, we are di- uh, we are diversifying our interest 
with uh, we are diversifying our relations with other countries we are more engaging with west also western countries also but uh, the main on the on which our india russia relations ba- relationship is based uh, that is ma- majorly on defense as well as uh, uh, I, uh, other uh, like investing in uh, far uh, east of russia's territory uh, russia's territory i don't think there is uh, much deviation from Uh, relations okay can you tell me two space space missions on which russia and india are collaborating um uh on one mission that is gagan gaganyaan mission where indian astronauts are trained by uh, russia's Ros- uh, roscosmos and sorry ma'am at presently i can remember only one okay what is quad ma'am quad is a intergovernmental organization uh, of is it an organization it is intergovernmental organization okay uh, of four countries like rush uh, sorry ma'am uh, usa australia uh, india as well as japan what is its purpose ma'am the purpose <coughs> uh, has highlighted by the cod is for uh, ensuring a free and uh, indo pacific region free and fair indo uh, indo pacific region as well as providing regional security to this okay. region when is national youth day celebrated ma'am uh, january 12th it is celebrated on what is the occasion ma'am it is the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda okay so what percentage of women are women land holders are there in india sorry ma'am i could not remember the data at presently okay what is the definition of a farmer according to indian law ma'am uh, uh, as far as my understanding is concerned farmer is one who own land as well as cultivate the crops or any or carries out any other uh, farm and allied activities so he is called a farmer okay so we do not recognize someone who is not owning land as farmer ma'am uh, the term tenant is used for him as uh, as such a uh, farmer is not owned. in under pm kisan do farmers that do not own land get that 6000 rupees ma'am no ma'am uh, the form uh, the farmer as we say who is not owning land just is cult, uh, cult, uh, is practicing agriculture on others land he is not entitled to get a benefit under pm kisan yojana okay recently changes were made in the selection committee of chief election commissioner yes ma'am what changes were made ma'am uh, till 2020 uh, till recently um, government was suggesting uh, names for uh, this cec like uh, after that when a supreme court major supreme court judgment has come that three member committee should be formed uh, comprising cj chief justice of india prime minister as well as leader of opposition to pick the names for uh, ele- chief election commissioner as well as election commissioner later the parliament enacted a law uh, uh, bring, uh, saying that uh, the committee would be comprising pm leader of opposition as well as a cabinet minister who is nominated by the pres- uh, prime minister so at presently this is a uh, situation do you think it will compromise the impartiality of the election commission of india ma'am in my personal view i don't think uh, it will not, it will compromise um, the free uh, nature of election commission of india because from past 70 or 75 years we have seen that election commission of india is working with a uh, free and fair manner only okay thank you thank you thank you uh-huh. your formal interview with us is over thank please you. just give your feedback of what you have observed in your responses uh, to my specific query uh, two questions i have put to you rather three one is on that drug drivers strike it is already there but it is a question of morality it is moral to do it immoral not to do it but there is no law governing it now that it is being put in law 
fall so they are protesting okay sir that if it becomes law then you can be held accountable okay. that is the only okay that okay, is sir. one then uh, rti rti the first uh, level of disposal of an rti is called the cpio okay i see the public information officer central bank so he is allowed 30 days time just know the structure because yes, there could yes, be sir, a question yes. on uh, any of this uh, after that there is an appellate authority against whom to whom you can go in an appeal against the orders of the cpi or not he is not acting on your um, questionnaire then after that you go to the cic now what change has been brought about is that his tenure both his tenure and his salary conditions have been changed two years back in the in the law in the, uh, of the uh, appointment and salary conditions of the cic uh, citizen charter is another and the uh, difference between the two is in the rti there is a provision to act against the government officer to go against him in a disciplinary proceeding the cic can see, can say that you initiate proceedings against an officer if he disobeys or if he fails to act in the manner and in charge of the rti act citizen charter has three silos the vision mission and strategy you can read about it so oh, okay sir and it is monitored by the cabinet secretariat okay so the vision is the what the ministry puts out on its website how they will achieve it is the mission and what is the strategy uh, through which the instrumentality or the agency of the <coughs> government which will achieve that is the strategy okay. so these three, just read about it so yes, that sir. we are not caught on our ways these are important topics yeah. then there could be questions on it yes sir. thank you shukriya sir sandu your knowledge is quite good but you need to brush up and the knowledge of agriculture especially in new practices yes sir. right and uh, you are not very much uh, accurate about giving your own perspective because how you didn't co- convert your land into organic farming because uh, as gandhi said the change it, start, it starts yes. within so pehle aap apne aap se to shuru karo right tabhi aap motivate karoge kisi aur ko baki theek hai ha do cheeze maine uh, observe ki hain ek uh, bolte samay speaking time mein you use lot of uh, a lot of breaks uh-huh. are there okay. and the eye contact is also you your eye contact frees up the one person you have to address the board at a okay, okay. complete time right uh, my feedback to you would be quad is not intergovernmental organization mm. yeah. even if i'm showing you surprise okay so read the room uh, okay okay we try to read your you know board members voice and what are they trying to convey to you other question that i said safety is an issue public transportation public spaces safety is a big issue so if a question is being asked there must be some link okay. that it is being asked uh, other than that uh, you uh, start looking down when you're thinking you start looking down so avoid that because it shows lack of confidence or it can be read as lack of confidence okay. otherwise uh, your interview is good all the best All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank Good you so luck. much. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Hi. क्या आप भी आईएस की तैयारी करना चाहते हैं? क्या आप पीसीएस की तैयारी करना चाहते हैं? बहुत दिनों से आप स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं, लेकिन इसके बावजूद भी आपको सफलता नहीं मिली। भाग दौड़ करने के बावजूद भी आपको कोई सॉल्यूशन नहीं मिल रहा। सिर्फ आपका टेंशन बढ़ रहा है, आपका पेशेंस जवाब दे रहा है। इसी टेंशन को दूर करने और आपकी हर एक समस्या का समाधान लेकर आए हम यानी ओजांक गुरुकुल कैंपस यहां हम आपको सिखाएंगे आईएएस और पीसीएस जैसे एग्जाम की तैयारी कैसे आसान तरीके से की जाती है कैसे डिसिप्लिन फॉलो किया जाता है कैसे अनुशासन रखा जाता है अगर आप भी चाहते हैं हम आईएएस और पीसीएस बने और अपनी जिंदगी के सारे सपने पूरे करें तो अभी ज्वाइन करें ओजांक गुरुकुल कैंपस बिकॉज़ When we support the word selfless, the whole universe will support you endlessly.